It's Friday morning, August 26th, 2011. It's literally 7.30 a.m. I'm just waking up. Welcome to my vlog. Well, it's not that my alarm didn't go off last night. It's that I just didn't set it. <laughs> I went to bed. I took uh, my allergy pill, got tired, went to bed at like 10, and... <sighs> oh, Jesus. Let's just say I completely forgot to set my alarm, so... Well, it's time to pitter-patter and get at her and get to work, so I guess uh, we'll do a rolling vlog again today. That should be fun. So let's do her. Hopefully that's focused on me. Waiting for my car to heat up a bit, because... Should be a chilly day today. She's only 10 degrees Celsius out. And I can't see anything out of my windows. Oh, I have that sun glare behind me, another person. So we're about to find out. Oh, oh man. What a way to start a Friday. Forgetting to friggin' uh, set your alarm at night and you wake up at Seven, like it was 7:26 when I woke up. I was like, "No way!" Luckily, I had a shower last night, so I didn't need one today. I don't know why my window won't stop fogging up. Uh, today is going to suck at work. We're short staffed today. We got a guy on holidays. Another guy working with us. Well. He's just really, really, really slow. So I'm gonna have to pick up the pace and freaking go crazy today. Oh, I can't even use my mirror right now. This is awesome. I can't, oh, friggin', oh, I hate cars. I'm not impressed, I like the Pontiac G6. I'll tell you guys now, I like the Pontiac G6, but there's so many design flaws with it. One thing is the way the mirrors are set up. Like my mirror right now is all friggin' covered in like water droplets. And due to it not being a heated mirror, it is completely pointless and useless. The other thing is, is the way they set up the uh, the windshield, it's completely useless because for some reason it just randomly decides to fog up. I've never seen any other car brand, my old Ford never did this, that would just randomly decide to just fog up. And speaking of fog, holy shit, I think I'm heading into the fog. You guys ever seen that movie, The Fog? I think I'm going into it. Well, I'm just rambling. I have nothing really to say, so uh, I'm going to show you guys the rest of the drive. So, friggin' let's do this. about 9 30 now I'm just outside for a cigarette break and let me tell you the sky has changed the fog has cleared and it is nice out like look we got blue skies everywhere so that's pretty sweet I'm not sure what's going on over here they're still doing the construction work but we got a guy up on the hydro pool and a van driving by making an absurd amount of sound so not too much going on today we're short staffed it's busier than all hell but whatever Oh well, at least next weekend I'm off to Pug One's house, so that should be fun. He's got some plans for videos and we're going to do some stupid shenanigans and I can't wait. It's going to be hilarious. But uh, obviously Saturday and Sunday I probably won't upload the vlog. I'll have to wait till I come back Monday, Tuesday to upload the vlogs. But uh, we'll get her done. We'll get her done.
Anywho, just came out for a quick break. Gonna head her back inside and carry on with the day. And I'll talk to you guys later. I think Chippy followed me to work today. <laughs> no, it's a different Chippy. He's not friendly. Oh crap, he's getting in the building. Oh, that's not good. Oh crap. Well, it looks like I gotta let uh, the building manager know that Chippy can get into the building because uh, the door down there is pretty rotten out and it looks like Chippy cleared a hole through. Frig's sakes. Oh well, I'll let them know. Alrighty guys, it's four o'clock, it's friggin' home time. Let's go see if we have any more wildlife in the friggin' house. Holy crap, is it hot in here guys. According to my temperature gauge, it's 39 degrees in the car. How awesome is that? One more week, and then it's off to visit Pug One. Friggin' awesome. I'll let this big truck go by. Oh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go home and have a friggin' nap. Holy shit, I am tired. Today was a stressful day and I'm so thankful it's over. Now the weekend is here, time for some beer. Ah oh, shit, I'm out of beer. Well, that sucks. Oh well. Holy crap. Go ahead, go ahead. Go, 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 go. Fuck. Jaywalking idiots. So I got spotted vlogging yesterday. Well, I was looking at that LeBaron that I'm looking at right now. Right off of Main Street. That's kind of funny. Of course, I'm bad with usernames. I can't remember who it was, but I got spotted outside of Good Life, the, uh, the gym I go to. So that's pretty friggin' hilarious when you get spotted vlogging. I need to get some shirts made up for myself that says uh, I talk to cameras in public so people understand what the hell I do. So, today was uh, pretty busy. Uh, got a bunch of new modems sent out. I'm just glad it's Friday. Thinking I might do the flyers tonight, but I kind of browsed through them online and you know what, they kind of suck. But uh, Future Shop is currently pushing all their Canon Vixia R10s out the door. They got 200 bucks knocked off, regular $399 on sale for $199. But to be honest with you, I was looking at the footage and they say they do full HD, but the sensor in them can barely, it's just barely over uh, 720p. So it's like, how the hell does it do 1920 by 1080p when the sensor can't even do 1920 by 1080p? It's just cocked. Because I kind of want, I was thinking about selling my Canon FS200 and picking up the uh, Canon R10 to have an HD camera with a mic port. Who the hell's ringing? Probably that Ford Windstar. Holy shit. Well, yeah, I was thinking about picking up that HD camera for 200 bucks because I kind of wanted an HD camera with a microphone port for uh, doing interviews and stuff. Like, if we went down to, like, for instance, if uh, the girlfriend and I were going to go to the Fan Expo, that would have been cool to have that camera. I could have had her play the role of cameraman or camera person, to be politically correct. And uh, I could have just been talking to the camera with the microphone and, like, interview people, like the celebrities. That would have been hilarious for the vlog. But it's better with a microphone because then you don't get as much surrounding because you can like just take the microphone and put like vlogging life on one of those square things. Make myself look all official and awesome. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, son of a bitch like Malfoy and them and Elijah Dushku, but I probably couldn't have said much. I'd have been like, so uh, hot, 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 uh, hot, uh, dollhouse, hot, 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 hot. And she'd have been probably just like giggling and thinking we're security. But you know, that's how it is. Ah well, there'll be other camera deals. But yeah, I was thinking about selling the FS200 because yeah, it records in widescreen and all that, but it's not high definition and I kind of like recording in high definition because it looks better in high definition. And, but whatevs. <clears throat> Bet you these lights are still on a friggin' timer. Oh, go home, let puppy out and see if we have any more wildlife in the house. Freak sakes. Yeah, I was watching Daddy Tech's video today there, and he's wearing an old Microsoft Windows shirt. I freaking laughed. Then I realized he wasn't wearing his freaking seatbelt. Like, everybody knows if you're running Windows, you're going to crash. But I'm bumped. But, um, yeah, he's wearing a Windows shirt, and he's got no seatbelt on, so I kind of heckled him a bit about not wearing his freaking seatbelt. Like, come on. I'm sure it's a law. I don't, I think it's, a, it's probably a law in all the states, wear your seatbelt. I know in Canada, if you're caught without your seatbelt on, or at least in, in North Bay, for instance, it's a $500 fine if you're caught driving around without your seatbelt on. 
You know, they put them in the car for a reason to protect you in, in a crash, keep you in the seat. Yeah, sure, it leaves a nice gash across your chest, but uh, it's there for a friggin' reason, and I gave him shit for that. And he never responded, but I got a response from, uh, I think it was Naderade responded and said, I've been giving him shit for that since day one, and he won't listen to me. But uh, that should be kind of funny. He's probably gonna respond and tell me to mind my own business or some shit. <laughs> oh well. Oh, look at this goof, passing on the soft shoulder. What an idiot. <sighs> Well, anywho, I'm on my way home. I'm almost there, so uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys once I get there. Peace out. Alrighty, we're home. I'm probably covering the microphone again. I've got Oreo outside with me. He's being a fluffy puppy. And yeah, not too much going on right now. I just got in. I'm with the side of the dog out to go drop ass. Go poop. Hey, you go poop. Go poop now. Oh, he's hooked on a tree. Go poop. Go poop. Oreo, poop. You go poop. Oreo, hey. Go poop. I don't know what the hell he's doing. There he goes. I gotta love a dog when you tell him to go poop and he's like, okay, I'll just squat one here now. Oh yeah, porch lights on. Look, you can tell. So, in about a week, I'll be down at Pug's house. That'll be awesome. He's like, uh, he wanted me to stay for the week, but obviously I can't because I can't take vacation except people are already on vacation, so friggin' hell. But uh, that would've been awesome. Spend a week at Pug's and just do a bunch of friggin' stupid videos and have fun, but I uh, will have the weekend. We'll party it up, but yeah. I really have nothing to say, so I'll come back when I have something to say. Probably gonna cover flyers today. I think I said that in the car. All right. Talk to you later. Well, it's flyer time, and let's start off with Future Shop. Exciting stuff. Like this Hewlett Packard laptop for $449 with an i3 processor. I would so buy that netbook. The AMD C50 dual core processor with the uh, friggin' Radeon 6520. That's not right. 6250 graphics card, not 6520. Oh, that's got to be a typo. And then for an extra couple bucks, you can get it with 4 gigs of RAM and a huge ass hard drive. That's sweet. Save $30. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming that's, that Future Shop managed to get some more touch pads. Because um, they have them back on sale, but not for the price that they were before. Yeah, they're like an extra $300 now. So $399 for the 16 gig and $500 bucks for the 32 gig. Huh. I got a better deal. Oh, and here's one of those barcode thingies in case somebody wants to scan it. Friggin' have at her. Oh my god, it's got the G lens. The lens that always likes to focus. Ah oh well, teach their own. Anybody out there in the world of YouTube got this phone? The LG Optimus Black Skype Edition? Just wondering what you think of it. It's kind of cool. And it's Skype. And I've been doing a lot of that lately. Well, Future Shop was kind of boring. So let's see if... Staples, that was easy. Is any better? Holy shit. 50 bucks for a friggin' 18 and 0.5 inch monitor? Sure, the name sucks, but a monitor's a monitor. That's an awesome friggin' price. And they even got this really good deal here on this i3 Toshiba satellite. 400 bucks. Hmm. 500 gig Seagate hard drive for $39 or 40 bucks, whatever, whichever way you want to look at it. That's friggin' decent. DECENT! Well, Staples sucked. So, Zellers, which is now known as Target, is uh, open till 11 p.m. Moonlight Madness. Clear back to school or clear up for... Gear up for school. Learn to read, noob. Jesus. Well, patio season's over when they're willing to give it away for 50% off. That's not bad. I got a lot of that crap, though. Where's barbecues were cheaper. Mind you, 149 bucks. that's not too bad. Well, I never cover Walmart, so I figured I would this time. Looks like they got Pepsi on sale for $2.47, or you can get tap water for the same price. I mean, I mean bottled water, because clearly, you know, it's, it's actually water from a spring and not from a tap, even though there's no regulation on it. Freaking bottled water. Mmm, tato chips for $2. Lego my ego. $1.97. Per waffle? No, per box. Nah. I must go buy this. 
nine dollars for 12 boxes of craft dinner i do believe i will yummy this is an amazing deal at walmart 16 gig memory card 18 friggin dollars you know what's funny because i don't know what the hell they have here this bad boy is actually a class six decent i didn't get an eight gig for 11 bucks that's actually a really nice camera the power shot eight three thousand three hundred or 3300 that makes more sense shoots HD video 148 bucks Walmart yeah winning and then they got the Samsung with the uh, front facing viewfinder which actually does work for taking video and seeing yourself but people said the audio sucks so I don't know holy shit that's a freaking great deal on a barbecue a Dearborn propane barbecue Friggin' 198 dollars. Oh, just think of all the shit I could cook on that. I'm hungry. Alrighty, and there you go. That was the flyers for uh, this week. Uh, there wasn't really much in them, but I did my best to find the best that I liked and friggin' had at her, so I'm going outside for Sagrit. Keeping the critters out of the house? Of course. Yeah, you friggin' better. I'm not gonna feed you anymore. What? No, you can't. You gotta feed me. Come on. Oh, Oreo, what are you doing? What are you eating? What did you get your hands into? Or your face? Hey, hey, hey. Holy shit, you're nuts. That dog is mental, I tell you. He's freaking straight up mental. Let's see what other hijinks we can get into tonight. Alright guys, it's about 8 o'clock at night. And uh, look at that crazy sky, eh? Holy shit, that looks cool. But yeah, it's about 8 o'clock at night. Or 8.30 I should say. And uh, the girlfriend just got back from the gym. And I think we're going to... She wants to go out and get appetizers or something. Uh, I'm not really that hungry, but... I can go for appetizers. So we might go somewhere and get some appies. And get that on. And I'll take you guys along too. I don't know where we're going. We haven't uh, discussed that much. I don't even know if you guys can see me right now. Uh, you probably can't. <laughs> Let's uh, remedy that. There, how's that? Now can you see me? Alright, so, yeah, we're gonna get some uh, appetizers and uh, friggin' eat. I already ate, though. Uh, I had a quick little can of soup, something light, because I didn't really work out or anything today. I'm not really feeling it. I'm kind of tired. So, she wants to go out, so, ah, uh, friggin'. We'll go out and get some, some eats on and, and get that going. And So, apparently, uh, my dad and my brother are both on Skype, which is kind of cool. Dad went out and bought himself a webcam, and I'm really impressed. He figured out how to install the thing on his own. Like, holy shit. Normally he buys a new piece of technology, and he's on the horn with me right away. Okay, what do I do? Okay, I'm doing this. Am I doing it right? It's like, Dad, I'm not there. I'm on the phone. I can't see a friggin' doing it, right, bud? He managed to get it installed, and he did a Skype call with my, uh, with my brother, because my brother works for a company that... Uh, Basically, he's in North Bay for one month, and they ship him off to Africa for two. And he's in Africa for 60 days, working seven days a week. So you work nonstop, 12-hour days, and that's why you get a month off work, because you come back here. And you basically bank all this extra time, so it's like you're working eight hours a day, but you're not. But, but uh, yeah, so at least when he's in Africa with Skype, Dad can talk to him, and I can talk to him, and, you know, Dad and I can Skype conference each other and stuff like that, and it's kind of cool. I just don't have a webcam on my main rig, but uh, I got a webcam on my laptop, got a webcam on my tablet, got a webcam on my uh, on my netbooks, so I'm pretty much okay for that. You know, I could always just friggin' carry my tablet around and chat with them, but, you know, it works. Something I want to do, though, is buy bigger antennas for my router, because uh, the stock antenna just doesn't quite cut it. It doesn't hit the speeds I like or the distance I like. It was good over the winter, but for some reason over the summer we're getting a lot of latency. I'm not able to hit the garage hard enough. And uh, because like uh, when Adrian and I were here doing the live shows in the winter, we would get amazing signal out here. Like we both have at least four bars. And now I'm barely even able to get friggin' one bar out here on my phone or my laptop. So it's kind of whack. So that's why the battle plan is now to uh, up the gain on the antennas to friggin' flood more Wi-Fi, or as Pug calls it, Wi-Fi, out to the garage area so we can actually have more reception out here. So that's my battle plan. I checked on Deal Extreme. I found the antennas I want. I need to replace my, ante my uh, antenna. I need to replace my router that's on uh, 
my DSL connection because it's just dicked. So I want to replace that and then uh, yeah, should be golden. So once I replace that router and get the proper antennas for it, I'll be able to uh, live stream out here again because right now I tried it recently just for shits and giggles and the upload was horrible. So, but anywho, we're going for dinner. Freaking out of me. Just keeps talking. Get a camera in my hands and I just don't shut the hell up. We're going to go get something to eat. I'll take you guys along. Today's vlog is going to be a long one. I apologize, but what can I do? And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So even though I said we were going for something to eat, we kind of sort of did. We went to McDonald's, girlfriend got some snack wraps. I got an iced coffee because I wasn't hungry. And uh, now we're at Walmart. <laughs> Looking at uh, Nintendo games and all that stuff and junk. And I eh, was browsing around. So that's what we do. Look at how green those towels are. Holy. You could have like a rainbow towel party. I'm just saying. Walmart's already got their Halloween stuff out. Oh yeah. Yeah, perfect. She's gonna vlog with that on, okay guys? Weird pumpkin. That's what I'm gonna be for Halloween. Gourd face mirror man guy. Demons of metal mask. Could be a wolf. Oh yeah, check that out. Chrome dome. That's what I should have done for Mr. Airsoft Ponage, eh? Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. You should get it in all oh, the green. Oh, look at the green. That the is alien. awesome. All their Halloween stuff is already out. That is Unfreaking believable. I hate clowns. <laughs> oh my god, I freaking hate clowns. I almost started swinging, guys. Seriously, I almost started swinging there for a minute. Oh Jesus. That almost got dangerous. But like, check out the swords. Yeah. Freaking chainsaw. This is awesome. So for the kids, we have Superman, Batman, and Vintage Batman. Freaking right, I'd be vintage Batman if I was a kid. All right guys, girlfriend picked out her costume for Halloween. This is what she wants to be. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't say. Oh, it's a Viking. Oh, a Viking, eh? there you go. With so she's gonna be fur. a Viking with pink fur. I guess she killed one of those Easter bunnies and uh, put it on her shoulders and stuff. And she's thinking about getting that, that bitchin' sword I showed you earlier. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment. You know it's really fun to do in Walmart? That is disturbing. It's really disturbing. That's fine. insane. But that picture is freaking creep. Like easy now. It's fine. It's freaking oh my yeah, god. Yeah, that is demented. The camera just picked that up. That is crazy. I apologize for anybody who has nightmares after seeing that. Alrighty guys, back from Walmart. And uh Tomorrow I'm planning on painting this door green. So I grabbed a couple of these color things just to see what color would be close enough to it. <laughs> None of them are. So I'm probably going to go with um, maybe the Scottish Waltz or with the Zesty Lime. Zesty Lime might work well even though it's not close to that green. You be the judge. Okay I'm having a real major issue here. So which color do you think would be good? I'm thinking the lime would probably really work well, or the Scottish Waltz would really look, would work well, or even this topiary green. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the lime and see how that works out. But uh, it's about 11.30 at night now, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. I'm gonna shut her down and call it a night. Vlog's pretty long for today, so yeah, shut her down. Tomorrow we'll do the garage door painting and all that fun stuff. It's gonna be awesome down there where I have the old exhaust pipe hole covered up and got a mail slot over here to paint and all these hinges and friggin that thing and oh man <laughs> it's gonna be fun but whatever we'll get her done. We'll, we'll friggin do her. Then I can have a green screen out here and it could be interesting but uh so I'm going to shut the vlog down now. I've been talking too much today, but I do that. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Because you know me, I like it when you hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about today's video, do me a favor. Leave a comment in the comment section and uh, maybe I'll respond. Actually, I probably will respond if I can. But uh, until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.